Hi, I'm Megan for Nonprofit Spotlight, and today we're talking with Jeff Green, Executive Director for the Fund for Santa Barbara. Thank you for being here, Jeff. Thank you for the invitation. Um, why don't you first start off by telling us what is the mission of the Fund for Santa Barbara? Uh, the Fund for Santa Barbara is a community foundation that was founded uh, 30 years ago now to provide resources for social, economic, environmental, and political change work. Uh, our, our motto is change not charity and it's really about funding the grassroots organizing efforts that traditionally most foundations, at least historically, haven't supported. And if a nonprofit is looking or interested in seeking out uh, support from the fund, how do they go about that? Well, we, we operate in some ways like a traditional foundation. So we're a community foundation, uh, we're publicly funded, meaning we raise all of our money from the community itself and then we have two regular grant cycles a year. So there's a, a standard application process that people can go through. Uh, we have a, a slightly different structure, which we can talk about, about what makes the fund different. Uh, we also have a donor advised grant program. So sometimes we'll connect with individuals who want to support particular kinds of work and offer grants that way. And we also have emergency uh, grants, which we actually call emerging need grants for response to issues in the community uh, where we can't, you know, they have to be done now, we can't wait and um, it's something that we do small grants in, in a very short time frame. Okay, and how many organizations would you say you support in the community? Uh, over, over our history, uh, we, we recently counted, I think we're about 800 different projects over the past 30 years. Um, so if you do the math on that, you can see a lot of our grants are fairly small. Uh, every year, a, a typical year, we'd fund 50 different projects, and they could be of, this, of all 50 different organizations. Sometimes there's larger groups that we fund multiple different projects for. Um, but uh, 50 is, a, is an average year for us these days. At first, many groups are small. Um, they have either no resources, no paid staff, uh, and in fact, we're the only foundation in the region that funds unincorporated organizations. So we can actually help an organization even before it has its 501c3 status and before it's formally organized into a nonprofit agency. Do you have a signature event each year? Yeah, our, our signature event is, the, is Bread and Roses, and that's what it's known as now. It's had a couple of different names over the years. But, uh, Bread and Roses is a community event that's held every fall, typically in September. Uh, it's a, a, what you might call a dinner and auction style event, and of course when that was first started it was, it was one of the few. Now of course there's many, many such dinner and auction events in this community. Uh, but I still feel like it's, it's a unique event in that we have really, a, mo it's mostly a, a community gathering. It's time for people to, to see each other, spend time together. Uh, we have everything donated, uh, so the, uh, the actual margin on the event is very small, so we do actually raise a significant number, a significant amount of dollars, and we do it with pretty accessible ticket prices. So the goal of the event is to really reflect the values of the fund and make it accessible to everybody. What do you see down the road, let's say in the next five years for the fund? Are there particular um, initiatives or projects or issues that, that you're looking to support or um, just see being an, a nice topic for the future? Um, I, I think the, the range will always be really broad, um, and so when I, when I tried to spit out what we do at the beginning of our, our discussion here, it's, it's never going to be uh, any one thing, and that's really the important role that the fund plays, uh, but we also shift with the times. So when certain issues come up in the community that need to be addressed, we'll often step forward early and do that. I think what you'll see the fund, first of all, growing. We have been growing. Uh, when I started working with the organization back in 1997, we were giving about $60,000 a year. Now we give $300,000 a year. Uh, so we've been on a continual slow and steady growth course, but we still don't have enough to do everything that, that the community needs. So I think you'll see that. Um, we've been building an endowment fund, and so we have a small one now, but you'll see that probably built. Uh, you'll see this office built, <laughs> built yes, out at least. Yes, you're in a new location. Yes, we are. Recently. We are. Yeah, one of the Hutton Foundation buildings uh, right here at 26 West Annapolis. We have our name on the door now. So. If there was one thing you could share with people that you wish they would know about this, the Fund for Santa Barbara, mm -hmm. what would that be? I think it's that, the, that philanthropy can be exciting, <laughs> that this, this work is really exciting work and that there is, there's nothing that's really necessarily off the table. Um, it doesn't have to be a, a large established program to receive some support and some funding from a foundation. And frankly, the creativity that people bring to the work at the grassroots level, I think, is, is always exciting. Um, change not charity is a motto that we've used since our inception. Uh, and that's not to, to denigrate charity, but simply to say that charity in itself is never going to solve the problems that we recognize. Charity is the immediate response. Uh, but the change that's necessary is really the root causes. So anyone that's willing to dig a little deeper and, and deal, with, deal with the root causes, um, we're here for that work. And we want people to know that there is a resource here. The whole process of applying to a foundation can be awfully intimidating for a nonprofit. So yes. can you just tell me a little bit about how you select 
the groups that you um, choose to help support? It, it is. It's a very intimidating process. So a lot of the support that we offer that's not the actual grant support is all the training that it takes to, to sort of get to know this weird world that we call foundations and philanthropy. Um, it is unusual, and I, I mentioned earlier I stumbled into this work accidentally. Most people that are in this field do that, and they come from some other field and, and some other experience. Uh, what we try to do is train people on, on what this landscape looks like. Um, we try to make it as accessible as possible. Historically, foundations tend to be pretty hard to reach, and that's changing, which is wonderful, and, and there's a lot that's, that's happening now. Uh, we don't take full credit for, for all those changes, but these are the kinds of changes we've been pushing for for a long time along with other allies. And so accessibility, um, open communication with philanthropy, transparency in how dollars are used and invested, all of that I think is something that it, once you understand that, this world is much more approachable. So we do train people how to write grants, we work with grantees before they submit, and we actually will, will edit their proposals. We'll do everything but write it for them. Um, and give them some honest feedback of what kinds of questions they may hear. Well, Jeff, you've shared a lot of great information about the Fund for Santa Barbara with us. How can someone get in contact with the Fund? Uh, we have a website, uh, fundforsantabarbara.org, all written out together. And, uh, of course, emails. Uh, all of our staff are accessible via email, and emails are posted on the site. And our phone number direct to this office is 805-962-9164. Uh, we do have an office in Santa Maria as well, and that's 805-922-1707. Well, thank you, Jeff, for talking with us today and telling us all the wonderful things that the fund is doing to help our community. Thank you. You're watching Nonprofit Spotlight. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.